Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can use Georgias. So basically Georgias is a customer support platform for e-commerce company. And today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can use Georgias to manage your ticket, to create customers profile and to build AI tools that are going to be helpful for your shop. Here are some of the products that they have. They have Georgia's Help Desk, Georgia's Automate. They also have AI intelligence that are going to help us to create some automatic chat and email. They're also available in App Store, so you can download it on your mobile phone in case you need to track your shop from anywhere you are. Here are the pricings for their Pro plan, and as you can see, each plans have different benefits you can see it on the left side of the screens mainly they differ on the tickets per month and the amount of user the amount of social media usage and so on and if you'd like to take a look you can go ahead and check their pricing sections on their website To be able to use Georgias, you are going to have to sign up for an account. And before you choose any pro plans, you can just go ahead and sign up for free. And in order to sign up to Georgia, there are two ways that you can do, whether you can sign up with Google's or you can just sign up manually over here. Once you've done signing up, you can go ahead and input the URL of your website. It could be a niche online shopping platform or even a website like Wix.com and so on. Once you input the URL of your website, you will have to create a new URL of your help desk. And this is the URL that you are going to use whenever you need to sign in to Georgias. So make sure you take note of your new URL or you memorize it so every time you log in, you'll remember your help desk URL. So as you can see here, after I finish signing up, Georgias is going to take me to the login page and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and input my help desk URL and click login button. All right, so here's how your Georgia's dashboard will look like. And the first thing you will have to do after you sign up is that you have to connect your Georgia's with the, plat the shopping platform that you have. As you can see over here, I am clicking the menu tickets and it already have a drop down menu with several choices in it. As you can see when I try to create something on the automat it says that I don't have a store connected. So what I can do to change that is that I can go ahead and click the go to app stores button or if you would like to visit the sections in the near future you can just go ahead that on the left side of the menu bar there is an all apps sections under the app store menu so as you can see over here there's a lot of apps that can be integrated with georgia there is whatsapp aircall yotpo facebook big commerce magento and so on so all of these applications obviously have different use you can just go ahead and choose which platform you want to connect with georgia's so once we're done choosing which apps to integrate with Georgia and actually connecting it, we can go ahead and go to the next step, which is to add the customers details. So you can go ahead and click all customers and then you're going to go to this page and to create a new customers, you can go ahead and click add customers. There are several things that you will need to fill in, which is the name of the customers, the note of what is the customer personality is or what they like and they dislike. And for the example, I'm just going to write that this customers don't like waiting. And what it does is that it's going to help us to avoid doing things that the customer doesn't like in the future or 
to always remember what they like so that we can constantly dust that things to satisfy her. You can also insert the customer's email detail and if the customer has more than one email you can just go ahead and click add an email address and if you feel like you don't need those emails anymore or maybe the email's already out of date you can just go ahead and then click on the trust bin symbol and what it does is it's going to delete the information you want to delete and we can go ahead and do the same thing on the phone number section and if i ever needed to add some more phone numbers i can just go ahead and click the add a phone number button again just like the emails i can input as many numbers as i like and if i don't need the numbers or i made a mistake i can just go ahead and click the red pin button on the right side of each bar now that we've finished creating the customer profile, if by any chance you don't need to use that customer profile anymore, you can just go ahead, click the action drop down menu on the top of each customer's name and you can just click delete customers. Now that you know how we can create customers, we're going to go to the next step, which is how to create tickets. To create tickets, you can go ahead and click on the left side menu bar from the drop down menu. You can choose tickets and then click create a ticket buttons. And then you can go ahead and start to create uh, the tickets you need. For example, I'm going to create a ticket for missing product. And then I can go ahead and fill in all of the details like the contact reasons and also which product is it. I can also assigned this ticket to a certain person and for here i'm going to classify the contact reason as orders and it also have some more menu i can classify it as a missing items and then i can choose which product if i have already listed the product on georgia's and i can also create the resolutions to the problem like for example with this missing product, the resolution I've chosen is refund. I'm going to go ahead and click refund for resolution. And then the next step will be to choose which customers we're going to send these tickets emails to. And as you can see, I am putting, for example, I'm putting Mary here. And then you can go ahead and create your email. So Georgia's already have some pretty fine emails, like there are some templates things that you can go ahead and click like for example I click one of the templates and it's automatically write the email for me but because I am not trying to create that kind of email I'm just going to go ahead and type it with my own words and once you're done you can go ahead and click send and this email is going to be automatically sent to the designed email that you already put on the customer's info and once the case is closed, you can just go ahead and change the status to case closed. And that case is going to be gone from your inbox. But you can still see the history of the cases by clicking on the close menu on the left side of your screen. As you can see on the left side menu, there is uh, this closed section. You can just go ahead and click it if you ever want to see the history of the cases you have already finished. And last but not least, if you ever encountered any issues with your Georgia, they also have some support centers where you can ask whether it's about tickets, it's about your lodging problem, etc. They have customer chat supports that you can always reach through the chat. So that's it for today. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.